Hi, good morning, friends. Radiation hazards and prevention. Radiation hazards is a real danger. A number of orthopedic surgeons has been detected, uh, diagnosed with tumors during their working life. Some do not take enough care while using C arm in the operation room. What are you about to hear may affect your lifespan, your longevity of life. Now, Nagasaki, still the generations uh, after 19, uh, before 45, World War II, still suffering with mutations and other deformities. Radiation from a nuclear bomb is 500 to 1000 MCV where it is compared to 50 to 100 whole body CT scan. Biologically, there are two effects. One is ionizing radiation, and second, it forms free radicals, H, H, O, H, O. There is no safe threshold. What is very dangerous is the cumulative damage with multiple ex exposures. It is a very silent, there is no pain, no symptoms. And that's why the orthopedic surgeons feel that they are very safe. And that is why they don't they take care of it. But mind that this is a cumulative effect. You may get cancer, your son may get some deformity or even generations to come may get some deformities. During pregnancy, there are two effects. One somatic effect or a genetic effect. Genetic effects are more dangerous. It causes mutation, congenital malformation, brain damage, effect on future generations. Now, look at pregnancy. Most risky is the first trimester, first trimester when there is organogenesis. That means the uh, tissues are forming here. This is the most dangerous pair. Less risky is the second trimester, fetal growth, it is 8 to 17 weeks. And the least risk is 25 weeks, third trimester. Prevention is postpone surgery to at least to the second trimester or third trimester. If at all you have to do an emergency surgery, wrap around lead gown or sheet from over the abdomen and uh, the pregnant, if the pregnant doctor is there, don't enter OR, especially even complete uh, till the completion of your uh, birth from at least first and second trimesters are more dangerous. Specific body hands have greatest exposure. Eyes, radiation, cataract can occur. Thyroid is more sensitive. 85% of the papillary carcinoma are radiation induced. Look at this. The nails may be brittle. The hand burns. You may get like this and with hand deformity, mucosa of the oral mucosa and there is a burns of the skin. Modern orthopedic trauma, is the surgeon is more exposed. Increased exposure of surgeon, patient and team to scattered radiation. That is very important by minimally invasive surgery. And this is one of the this great disadvantage of uh, MIS compared to ORIF. Uh, therefore, when you are doing MIS, minimally invasive surgery, if you are in difficulty, don't hesitate to open, at least minimally, minimal opening. Intramedullary, nailing, flip, percutaneous K wire, they are all dangerous. Every patient, when he gets 100 photons reaching the patient, 20, 10 to 20% are scattered. And this affects the surgical team. And 2% the image detector. And 80% are absorbed by the patient. That is the radiation dose. What is important is the distancing. See here, if the distance is 0.5 meters, that is one and a half feet, there is 3.2 MSV. Whereas if there is uh, one meter, that is three feet, 
it is reduced to one fourth. So scatter dose is lower when distance from patient increases. When distance is doubled, the scattered scattered radiation is reduced to one fourth. Six feet is reasonably safe. Now keep X-ray tube below because if you see here, there is a great uh, radiation, scattered radiation to the surgeon. If you keep it below, the whole scattered radiation goes downwards towards the floor, but foot, foot may be affected. Now, when you are taking lateral X-ray, the X-ray tube, the side surgeon has got more scattered radiation than the on the image side. This is wrong. This is correct. So during fluoroscopy, hug the intensifier. Now, when the patient size increases, the skin dose and scattered radiation also increases. And therefore, keep a safe distance from large patients. Use additional protective devices like thyroid and goggles. Factors affecting the patient doses are when the intensifier diameter is large, there is less dose. And when the, uh, the intensifier screen is uh, reduced, the dose is more. So more magnification because the smaller diameter increases the patient entrance dose. Do not use too much magnification. Remember to protect patients away from X-ray tube. Keep protective shield for patients on the safe side of X-ray tube. See, when the tube is above like this, the, the protection should be here. And when the tube is here, the protection should be below. Protect yourself from protective devices, uh, uh, goggle, thyroid collar, aprons, and protective gloves. Now, protective gowns should be worn like this. And there are types of gowns. Lead uh, depends on the lead thickness, 0 0.25, 0 0.35, 0 0.5 millimeters. 0.5 millimeters and above are heavy, but more effective, more protective. However, bismuth gowns are superior to lead as regards uh, scattered radiation is concerned and also very light, but the cost is 50,000 per piece. So apron and thyroid collar, treat them well to get good protection. Do not fold, use, of, uh, use for only five years after that you buy a new one. Should be routinely checked by x-rays for cracks, holes, etc., because the efficiency decreases by 20% if there are cracks and check it annually. Good quality centering imaging, no need to repeat. For example, if you get a picture like this, this is a good one. You do not have to repeat. You can get whatever you want to from this uh, image. So don't repeat. Remove and reduce metals in the field because if there is a metal, CR automatically increases exposure to improve bone image. Now, how to avoid radiation? The radiation safety and alara that is as low as reasonably achievable. There are three uh, groups of uh, prevention. One is time. You must reduce your time. Don't do continuous uh, fluoroscopy and only use whenever it is necessary. Two distancing, I'll talk to you, and shielding. These are the three methods. Reduce time, semipo, ORI. Don't screen to see tip of the screw. I have seen my assistant doing, though when he is doing the shaft, uh, uh, plating of the shaft, he sees the uh, tip of the uh, by under image. No, you have to do correct measurement and uh, do not use image to det detect techniques to reduce radiations. Now, how to avoid, we do here, we put uh, uh, straps like this, uh, sticking plaster or something, and you can see that you fit it, uh, put it like this when the AP view is correct and then go on putting in throughout the 
throughout the operation. Now, integrated lesser aiming is very good. See here, you can a lesser image, you can pinpoint where you want the X-ray. Or you can do uh, a, a drop of blood, keep here, and uh, the, uh, the technician will know that the uh, head of the femur and the shower, uh, neck is here in this way. Uh, distance six feet away, I have told to you. A uh, position of x ray tube, keep x ray tube below. Uh, then protective items I have been discussed to you. Keep hands away from the beam. That is very important. There are many who are, especially hand surgeons, they are fond of doing this. Either you have to use glove or when there is a uh, image, you have to take out your hand. Retracting holding person keeps on uh, inattentively, keeps on holding it, and it, it, uh, it gets the image. Intramural nailing, DHS, use instruments with long hands. Say, for example, if you have to lift the femur during IT uh, correction, uh, you have to have a long handle to lift it, or you use something else, but do not expose your hand. Uh, don't use continuous fluoroscopy. Shout when exposing. Shoot. So though it disturbs the sleeping anesthetist, you shout, shoot, means that everybody will be alert and be away from the uh, X-ray tube. Bear, bear RC badges. In summary, we have an obligation towards the safety of our patients, our staff, ourselves. Apply what we have discussed and inform your friends. Take home messages, how to avoid radiation, landmarks on the floor and on the body. Use laser to detect the where you want to uh, focus your uh, image on the body. Distancing is very important. Position of X-ray tube is another point which is, it will prevent uh, scattered radiation. Protective items must be worn. There are many who feel that the thyroid is not worn. I made it compulsory in my hospital, but still uh, it is a little uncomfortable, but uh, we have to use it. Keep hands away from beam. Don't use continuous fluoroscopy. Shout when exposing, shoot, and always, wear BARC badges. Thank you very much.